Apple at a fresh record high after announcing those AI-powered capabilities rolling out this fall, including AI that can generate images, prioritize notifications, and execute tasks. But is that enough for Apple to pull ahead in the high-speed AI race? Our Deirdre Bose is digging into that for today's Tech Check. Morning, Dee. Hey, good morning, Carl. So not only did Apple catch up, but it might have even leapfrogged the other leaders in the race, because Apple didn't just give us another chatbot, it gave us a personal assistant. And this is really the holy grail of Gen AI at the moment. It's what OpenAI and Google have been working towards, but don't have that combination of hardware and software that Apple has to pull off. Now, Apple is essentially putting out usable AI that does everything that we've already seen from other players without any of the friction and with all of the personal context. Our phones know more about us than any other device, from calendar to email to messages to music. Applying Gen AI to that data set makes the device more efficient in a way that other players just can't. Google comes close to having that personal context, but its Pixel devices, they're still a tiny player in hardware. Apple, meanwhile, has an install base of more than $2 billion that marries hardware and software and includes its powerful M-series chip capable of running Gen AI on device. So that's total vertical integration, a cornerstone of Tim Cook's strategy. Now it's AI Edge. Only devices, of course, that contain that chip will be capable of running Apple intelligence. But if it does work the way that it's supposed to, Apple investors might get that large upgrade cycle that they've been hoping for. Other AI leaders at the moment, OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, Mistral, et cetera, they have a broader focus. And this is a key difference. They look at the world versus personal knowledge. There will still be a place for them, of course. Like when Apple needs to go beyond personal context, it says it will use ChatGPT and later other models like Google's Gemini in the future. But that also puts a lid on this idea of LLM commoditization. The chat bots are widely available and accessible and not all that differentiated, at least for the consumer. In the Apple presentation yesterday, ChatGPT was basically sidelined as a feature, not a product. The product is still very much the iPhone and Apple's ecosystem. And that's also maybe why Apple didn't need to put Sam Altman on stage, even though he was in the audience and he posed for pictures with attendees. The company and its user base is bigger than Gen AI, as we've known it over the last 20 months, and now it's going to deploy it on its own terms. And I think that was a big takeaway, guys, is that Apple doesn't have to say AI, you know, a million times during the presentation, it created a new concept of Apple intelligence that it's going to be deploying.